वेलकम अगेन दिस वुड बी आर नेक्स्ट क्लास फॉर करंट अफेयर्स एंड टुडे वी वुड बी डिस्कसिंग द कंसेप्ट ऑफ ब्लू इकोनॉमी वर्सेस ओशन इकोनॉमी नाउ देर आर फ्यू इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स दैट वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड द टर्म्स ओशन इकोनॉमी ब्लू इकोनॉमी एंड ब्लू रिवोल्यूशन आर टोटली डिफरेंट सो मेक श्योर यू डू नॉट कन्फ्यूज ब्लू रिवोल्यूशन विद ब्लू इकोनॉमी ब्लू इकोनॉमी विद ओशन इकोनॉमी एंड इन द नेक्स्ट वीक वी वुड टॉक अबाउट द इंसॉलवेंसी एंड द बैंक रपसी कोड नाउ Let's talk about Blue Revolution first. Blue Revolution talks about the Neel Kranti mission which is which it is also called as and this Neel Kranti mission focuses on the growth of fisheries and with the growth of fisheries the economic empowerment of the coastal uh, coastal areas and the coastal people. So that is what is specifically Blue Revolution. Now coming on to ocean economy. Ocean economy talks about all the economic activities which can be pursued through the ocean. For example, oil and gas you have tourism you have the activities of drilling that goes in so all these activities form the basis for the ocean economy it includes fishing and so on but this ocean economy is wholeheartedly aimed at empowering the economic system it does not talk about the idea of sustainability and when we talk about blue economy we focus on the idea of sustainability so this blue economy concept focuses on the idea of sustainability so it talks about ecology along with economics in simple terms if you talk about so working around the ecological aspect aspects and the economic aspects is the key idea of this blue economy now why we have kept this topic as a part of current affairs today is because of the recent goga dahej ruru ferry that has been inaugurated now this would be going from goga to dahej and would reduce the distance between the two areas in the region of saurashtra significantly so that is one idea where we are talking about the inland transportation now this has been uh, in the areas of gujarat similarly if this model is successful we plan to develop all our inland waterways so india has a huge coastline but besides that huge coastline we also have a numerous inland waterway systems and again why this has been important is uh, this has been a question of your recent uh, geography paper as well the focus on the growth of small centers and that is what is the answer here so what we are what the government is planning to do is focus on the development of smaller centers throughout country and these growths of growth of the smaller center would promote or bring more momentum to the industrial development in the region so that has been the basic idea why we have covered this lecture again if we talk about the transportation cost and the load so roadways have 55% of the load railway share 35% of the of the total load and the waterways which appear to be cheapest share only 5 to 6% of the load if we talk about the cost waterways is the cheapest followed by railways followed by roadways despite the fact that roadways is the most expensive way of transportation among the three maximum load is shared through the roadways so government is planning to connect or develop inland waterways in a way that this load could be minimized all the logistics that are part of the indian economy 18% of that logistics uh, account for this so what is the basic idea is moving goods from part a of the nation to part b of the nation is much more costlier as of now with around nearly 7500 kilometers of coastline and 14500 kilometers of the internal waterways that could be developed you have not achieved a significant milestone or we have not achieved a significant milestone in the waterway or water transportation again in this reference you have sagarmala project that is very very important so when we talk about sagarmala project we have discussed that in a 
in uh, detail in a separate lecture so you can refer that but the idea is basically we need to modernize the post ports we need to modernize the coastline and we need to provide a cheaper means of transport so that more systems could be developed around it it could bring in more economic opportunities it could bring in more development and more job prospects now coming on to the ocean economy as we said if we talk about the global scenario we have 34 percent of the oil and gas drilling then you have tourism, maritime equipments, you have port articles that are being uh, considered here, then fish processing, aquaculture, shipbuilding, offshore wind and uh, the cap industrial capture for the fishes. So all these form the part of the economic activities from the ocean. But what we give to the ocean or what we give to the oceans in return is really uh, very sad. So if we talk about that, we have nearly 8 million tons of plastic that is discharged into the ocean. These plastics go into the body of the fishes and ultimately harm the ecological cycle or the uh, biopyramid cycle or the ecological pyramid we can say. Again, overfishing for human consumption has been a main cause of concern. Due to the increasing pollutants in the ocean, the coral bleaching is taking place. These are some of those to mention. Besides these, we are extracting a lot of oil and gas from the ocean bed and it's said that by 2050, the number of the amount of plastic in the ocean would be much higher than the number of fishes in the ocean. So that state would be a real estate where we would be worried highly. So in a, order to have a kind of preventive measure, we are working towards an idea of blue economy where we can protect this to happen. Again, many of the trawler nets which are going deep into the ocean, so there were two fishes as we talked about, the pelagic fishes and the demersal fishes. So demersal fishes are the deep ocean fishes and to catch these demersal fishes you have bottom trawling trawlers that go and once they go into the seabed they harm and kill the creatures of ocean they take out the fishes that they require but besides that they are harming or destroying the ocean topography or the bo bottom of the oceans again Considering all these facts, there is a growing concern about the issue of biological desert that was again a part of question this time. So biological deserts are the areas devoid of life and that is one of the reasons because of it is human intervention or anthropogenic cause we can say. Now coming on to the blue economy idea. So blue economy as we said we are trying to promote more aquaculture. We are trying to bring in biotechnology, gene sequencing, so trying to capture more of pharma drugs from the sponges and these pharma drugs which can be obtained from sponges can be helpful to treat diseases like cancer. Then you have coastal and maritime tourism that is occurring. You have renewable energy sources that are being developed. So all those are some of the efforts that we are trying to do in lieu of the blue economy. So we would definitely keep on doing the shipbuilding, the transport, the fisheries and the offshore oil and gas but the idea would be growth along with conserving the issues of environment. So as we know within last four to five years the issue of environment has become very significant. So definitely we need to work around this and blue economy is one of the aspects working for that. Now as we said it works around the combination of economy and the environment. You have numerous case studies that could be seen here. So Parley is one of the company that manufactures the sports wear and now much of the sports wear of Adidas has a special section of running shoes and these shoes have the upper uh, layer made from the recycled plastic that has been recovered from the sea. So what we are trying to do is we are trying to recover the waste from the sea or the oceans. Again in 2014, Biconic Yarn and G Star Raw created the first denim and that was made of the recycled plastic waste. So these are some of the case studies that you can put up if you have a kind of subjective question that is asked. 
न्यूजीलैंड बेस्ड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज प्रिसन सी फूड हार्वेस्टिंग एंड इट्स डेवलपिंग अ न्यू टेक्नोलॉजी टू रिप्लेस द ट्रॉल एंड एड्स सो दैट द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ सर्वाइवल ऑफ द बाय कैश फिच इज इंक्रीज अप टू सेवेंटी परसेंट Similarly, you have floating power plants that are being designed, and these talks about hybrid use. So, wind power, along with the other developments and hybrid technology, would be the key aspects. Atlantic Action Plan talks about revitalizing the maritime ocean and the maritime economy. So, what basically we need to do is maintain the traditional activities like fishery, aquaculture, tourism. Along with that, focus on the emerging aspects. like offshore renewables biotechnology gene sequencing as we talked about so that is a kind of uh, growth chart that is shown and this would be available on the exam res current affairs section so you can refer the statistics there we have already talked about the issues of blue revolution now what has been in news this week uh, we'll just capture the highlights which are important so you have the national nutrition uh, mission that was drafted or constituted again you have uh, the national testing agency important for your education section national nutrition mission you should expect a definite question for your subjective answers next year it aims to reduce the level of stunting anemia low birth rate and undernutrition then vasanar arrangement you have three other uh, areas the nuclear supplier groups the mtcr and the ag so we will talk about the vasanar arrangement in detail in one of the lectures upcoming again us is now considering jerusalem as the as the capital of israel rather than tel aviv national commission for minorities talked about the committee to check for the status of hindu minorities gemini meteors have been in news this week again very important issue infective trachoma has been eliminated uh, there is a difference between elimination and eradication that's very very important so if we talk about smallpox we say it's eradicated that means it's no more so no more vaccine is even given for that however when we talk about elimination we aim to uh, explain that it has been significantly reduced to a level of near to zero and this was a goal for 2020 however we have achieved it much before 2020 again the wto ministerial conference 11 on food subsidy was in news yesterday very very important because there was us disagreement and india wants a permanent solution to it uh, so india wants to purchase food grains without being challenged by any trade body 14 december is celebrated as national energy conservation day as we said there are two important aspects that have been in uh, news in the last few years environment and renewable energy energy conservation so again this is very very important excitonium very important it has been a new form of matter that has been discovered so excitons are types of bosons and these are formed in the semiconductors and they are found in the ground state so it's again very very important legatum prosperity index has been given some of the forthcoming lectures that we would be covering in the upcoming classes are here so stay tuned do subscribe to the channel if you have any suggestions definitely leave those as comment below the video if you feel any of the topics is important for your current affairs and we need to cover it definitely suggest that in the comment section have a very good day ahead